Hello, my name is Imke van Heerden and I am the co-author of the study Afriki, Machine in the Loop, Afrikaans Poetry Generation, along with my colleague Anul Bash. And we are presenting our work here at the 2021 Africa NLP Workshop at EACL. That is the conference of the European chapter of the Association for Computational Linguistics. I am originally from South Africa and a native speaker of Afrikaans, one of the country's 11 official languages, which is why I'm drawn to natural language generation in the language. Uh, furthermore, as a literary scholar, I am particularly interested in creative text generation. My colleague and I lead a small research team based in Istanbul, funded by Turkey's Scientific and Technological Research Council. We bring into conversation two rather dissimilar disciplines, namely machine learning and literary studies. And we are seeking practical ways in which literary expertise could contribute to the development and evaluation of generated text. So as an instance of such collaboration, we are proposing a generative language model called Afriki. This is an abbreviation for Afrikaans Kunstmatige Intelligence or Afrikaans Artificial Intelligence. And there has been some activity around this particular language in natural language processing and certainly in South African languages in general. However, to our knowledge, this is the first study to attempt creative text generation in Afrikaans. I will now explain our machine in the loop approach to poetry generation, as well as the model and data set. Then I will briefly discuss the results, concluding with future directions. So what we are proposing is a collaborative writing system. We believe that co-creative or machine in the loop systems are perhaps more useful in creative industries than fully automatic text generation. As opposed to human in the loop pipelines, machine in the loop frameworks promote human creativity through computational assistance. And this enables the production of creative text from very limited data. This brings me to our model. Now I will explain the data set, the model architecture, as well as the co-creative poetry generation process. So we must bear in mind that in comparison to resource rich languages, Afrikaans is a relatively low resource language. So since we did not have a large scale poetry data set, we followed an alternative approach. So we did not train on poetry, but rather on a small corpus of contemporary fiction, specifically the Afrikaans literary novel, the library at the end of the world. The word cloud shows the novel's most commonly used words after, of course, stop words were removed. And note that Ian and Thule are the protagonists. As regards architecture, we experimented with several architectures and obtained best results with two layer Alistem architecture. We stack two Alistem layers with 50 units in each layer, followed by dropout layers, then a fully connected layer and a softmax layer. We used the Atom Optimizer and trained for 300 epochs. On to the process of co-constructing the poems, constructing the poems co-creatively. This consists of two stages. So first, the network generates many individual lines. So because we did not train on poetry, we constructed our model as a text generator that produces lines instead of stanzas of verse. The generated lines are original. They are distinct from the data set with hardly any repetition of word order. This is the computational component. Second, the author picks uh, phrases at will and then vertically arranges them into short poems. So please note that there is no modification of the word order. Selection and arrangement comprise the human dimension. And as you will see on the next slide, we believe the arrangement of lines in this particular manner draws attention to the model's contribution. 
So this approach results in minimalist free verse poems. Some examples are included here. The uh, original Afrikaans can be seen on the left and the English translations on the right. Uh, for example, here is the oor katvoet vir die spoelrotse onder uitdrukkings. Here the eyes are cautious of the sea rocks under expressions. So you might think that this cannot be regarded as poetry because there is no rhyme. Natural language generation categories of evaluation have at times tended to prioritize uh, rhythm, meter and rhyme. But in fact, from a literary perspective, free verse poems are a modern form of poetry that do not necessarily follow such rules. And there are some clearly expressive or poetic elements in the text. Poetic devices such as alliteration and assonance are present. Uh, imagery and figurative language are prevalent, especially personification. For instance, uh, Africa drinks. The landscape tilts its back and the introspective sea. If you are interested in learning more about the study, the paper is available on archive and you are seeing the poster on the screen right now. I would like to conclude with future work. There are many ways in which the work can be extended. It would be great to experiment with this approach in other African languages as well. And another promising direction to pursue, among others, would be the involvement of poets to investigate whether this approach could inform and improve their creative writing practices. Thank you for your time.